Hello, 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 I'm Zach Brothers with another video for the One Tap Valorant channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the full 22 guide for the Agent Reyna. Reyna is one of the five duelists you can play with and is a great option for all you players just now getting into using them. So to start off, I'm going to be going over all of her abilities and how to best use them. Then I'll give you some tips that will really help you out within matches. Now something I should say before getting into this guide, every time Reyna gets a kill, they drop a soul orb. So every time I refer to a soul orb, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now to start off, I'm going to be talking about her signature ability, Leer. Reyna equips a destructible eye that she can cast and it makes her enemies nearsighted if they look at her. The impact may last a few seconds after it is thrown. However, if an enemy shoots it, it can destroy the orb. Now I recommend you throw the orb either way above you or at your feet. That's just because if you throw it near head level, enemies can easily spray transfer and take you out after shooting it. Alright, now for her ability, Dismiss. Reyna can consume a soul orb and become untangible for a short period of time. This essentially means that Reyna won't have any vulnerability to enemies' attacks or abilities during this limited period of time. However, this will also prevent her from shooting back at her opponents. Also, when you use this ability, your opponents can still see you. You kind of show up like a purple outline. Next, for her ability, Devour. As Reyna takes down opponents, they leave a soul orb near their bodies that lasts about 3 seconds. When she consumes the soul orb, it allows quick healing and allows her to regain her health. Once her HP is full, the healing power gets transformed into health armor. Finally, for her ultimate, Empress. She enters into a frenzy, which gives her a higher firing speed. It also increases her equipment and reload speed. If Reyna gets a kill, the duration of the ability is also renewed. And if it is still active, then a Devourer gets cast automatically on killing an enemy without consuming the orb. Unlike her ability to dismiss, an active Empress also makes her invisible for a short period of time. This can be especially useful when you wish to catch an opponent off guard by changing the location, easily getting a kill. Here is an amazing ace by C910s, and I'm going to be showing you this clip just so you can kind of get an idea on how to properly use her ultimate. Alright, so now I'm going to get into how to best use her ability Dismiss. With Dismiss, you can take riskier peaks, meaning you can kind of get out of dodge without the fear of being traded out. The ability I could best compare it to is kind of like a jet dash. An example is you could peek down mid, get a kill, and dismiss out of there without having the fear of being traded out. This gives your team the man-to-man -man advantage. Now of course whenever you're peeking an angle, you want to combine it with her ability Leer. Again, a blind enemy is way easier to take out than a normal one. Also, of course you want to hit your shots, and one way to hit your shots better is with an aim trainer. Personally, I use Kovac 2.0 and I have used it for quite some time now. It is an amazing aim trainer that you can pick up on the Steam store for $10. You can practice everything from aim, to tracking, to flicks, and there are a bunch of community-made maps that you can play with for your preferred game. So maybe go and check it out, it will help you improve your aim. Alright, now I'm going to get into how to best use her ability Devour. After each kill, you get a soul orb. With the soul orb, this can heal you all the way back up to full health. Now the issue with this is you have to be able to see the soul orb to be able to be healed. So you can't click on the soul orb and move back into cover, but what you can do is hide in a position where you're not so open to a bunch of angles. Of course, if you get a kill down main, you don't really want to be standing out in the open because you can easily get traded out. Now, one last thing I want to say about her ability is you don't always need to heal. You can kind of watch your health and decide if you want to dismiss or if you want to heal. Each have their advantages in their own situations. And one more thing, healing shows the enemies where you are, so be careful when using it. Alright, now I'm going to be talking about how to use her ultimate Empress. When you first use her ability, you want to be in a position to get many kills. There's no point to use her ultimate and only get one kill. Plus, her ultimate is only active for a certain period of time, so you want to get as many kills as you can within that time frame. Of course, you want to make sure to use your flashes when peeking angles, and remember that you want them either way above you or near your feet to avoid an easy spray transfer. With her ultimate, you also get a faster fire rate, so make sure you take advantage of that. And when you use her ability to dismiss when Empress is active, you become fully invisible. 
so it is easy to reposition and get advantage of your opponent. But keep in mind, even though it is your ultimate, you can still die to a single headshot from the Vandal. So be careful and use those flashes. All right, now I'm gonna get into how you can kind of lurk with Reyna. Reyna can get a kill and dismiss or either heal, taking away the opportunity to trade her out. Now you don't wanna lurk every round because that becomes predictable for the enemy team. And plus your team probably needs you to help get onto site. You wanna entry onto site with your team most rounds, but it doesn't hurt to switch it up a few times and lurk through mid. You can cut the enemy team off, confusing them and throwing them off guard. Taking a few out and maybe getting out of there with her dismiss or healing up with her devour. Reyna is a really good agent for lurking if you can play her right. It takes a lot of practice, so I wouldn't go lurking every round. I would help my team get on a site more often than not. Now for using Reyna on defense, you want to utilize off angles. Off angles are those angles where you can get a one and done kill. The reason for that is of course because of her ability to dismiss. She can easily get a kill and get out of there and get back on a cover within sight. A good example of that is a main on ascent. You can sit right outside the doors, get a pick, and dismiss out of there back into safety. It is a great way to get a first pick within rounds. Now of course you still want to use her flashes, but they aren't as useful on defense. And I wouldn't recommend using her flashes when holding off angles because that kind of warns the enemy team that you're going to be there. Just because you're a duelist does not mean you shouldn't play with your team. Make sure to coordinate with your team and make a plan on who's going to stay on what site and all of that before the round even starts. Now, even though it is defense, it is your job still to get those first picks within rounds and start off those engagements. So you can't play scared. You got to get aggressive and you got to hit your shots. Here is an amazing example on how to use Reyna on defense utilizing off angles and her ultimate. They've altered as well, fair play. One short, one short, I got long. One short, short, yeah. One enemy remaining. One short. Short on. Oh, what? Oh my god, I just completely 300 IQ'd this guy. Alright, now for Reyna on attack, you want to flash onto site. Also, you want to utilize your teammate's smokes as well. Again, don't forget to flash either high or really low to avoid an easy spray transfer and throw off your enemy's aim. More likely than not, you're going to be pushing in first just because you're the duelist and because you have the flashes. You need to get those first picks and clear out sight. Now, one thing you can do with her dismiss is clear angles on sight and peek with your teammates after getting a kill. Because you can't be shot, you can look at all the angles around sight, check that it's clear, and then go back into cover and peek with your teammates. It's a really cool outplay that you can do with Reyna, and there are so many other things that you can do with her. Reyna is a great duelist, but does have quite a learning curve and takes time to master. So my last tip, again, would just be to practice with Reyna. As many times as you've heard it, it is true, practice makes perfect. If you did find anything in this video useful, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what you would like to see next. Also, turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. But until next time, peace.